In this video, I would like to introduce you to the very basics of CSS. And when you know these basics, it would be a lot easier for you to use the CSS Hero plugin because now you would understand why the plugin works in certain ways and what actually happens behind the scenes. So the general idea behind CSS is you pick a piece of content and you apply the design change. But what exactly is this piece of content? Well, over here on my web page, you can see I do have all kinds of content. I have my logo, I have a main navigational menu, I have a sidebar with some images of you know Bruce Willis and some fe featured images in here for Titanfall, View, uh, a kangaroo, Indiana Jones, Batman, and so on. Basically, everything you're seeing on my page is a content. It's a piece of content. This content, we refer to them as elements with CSS. So any kind of content, whether it's an image, text, video, anything at all, that is an element. However, there are other kinds of elements that you don't see, but they're there. And I'm talking about structural. You see up here as an example, where I have my logo and I have my navigational menu, there is actually a container holding them in place. Okay. Over here, where we have like the main content area, you might notice that this is divided into two main columns. One being a lot wider, this one holds the excerpts for the featured posts. And then the smaller column or the narrower column <laughs> holds the sidebar. So that right there is another piece of content, the structure, the sidebar holding content in place. Structure, content, all these are elements. Now, the general idea behind CSS is you pick an element and you apply a change. Now, those changes are what we refer to as properties. You see, over here to the left, you will see the categories of the different kinds of properties available for the elements. You have background. So on the background, as an example, you could apply the property of a background image. You could change the background size. You could change the background color, as an example. You've got the typography, which deals primarily with text. You could change the color of your text, that's a property right there. You could change the font size, the line height, and so on and so forth. So those things we deal with where we apply those changes are what we call properties. And these properties also have values. As an example, the property of font family right now has the value of open sans. The property of font size right now has the value of 14 pixels and so on. However, please note that certain properties are applicable to certain types of elements. In other words, not every element, you will not be able to apply every kind of property change to every element. Basically, say as an example, right in here, I've got the Titanfall review. I could come in here and change the color of the text. I could go with, let's say, uh, our red as an example. I could change the font size, I could change the font family, but I cannot apply these changes to, let's say, the image of uh, Bruce Willis right here. It's just not applicable because this is an image. It's not a piece of text. For the image, I could apply a border, maybe. I could change the size, I could increase the height, I could do things like that. So depending on the kind of element you want to style, there are certain properties that will be available specifically for that type of element. So don't worry, as you begin to work with the CSS Hero plugin and you apply your CSS changes, you'll begin to understand what kinds of properties you can apply for certain kinds of elements. Now, before I round this up, let me just switch over to the Inspector tab. This is where you would actually see the code of the CSS. So right now, I just applied a change. I changed the color of Titanfall Review. And right here, you can see the color property. And that right there is the value. So the structure of a CSS code is you would typically have the element that is being targeted. In this case right now, it was the blog entry post, the entry title for this post. And then you'll have the color braces. And then inside of the color braces, you'll have the property been targeted and then the value of that property. Note, however, that there is a dot just before each one of these elements. 
You see, this is what we refer to as a class. A class is essentially used to target multiple elements at the same time. See, if I scroll down here, notice that, uh oh, Kangaroo Boxer is also now in red. And guess what? Legion makes 900 million is also now in red. Why? That's because the three titles for the posts all belong to the same class. So when you apply a change to a particular class, every element that is associated with that class will be affected by that change. So it's a way of saving time. So rather than me having to come down in here and uh, change the color of Kangaroo Boxer from black to red, and then come over here and do the same thing for Legion, I can just target the class holding those elements and apply the change. And a class is always denoted by the dot. With that being said though, you have something else known as an ID. IDs are represented by a hashtag. And the idea behind an ID is that rather than targeting multiple elements, you're targeting one very specific element. So in this case right now, let's say for example, for Titanfall review, right, let's say I wanted to very specifically uh, target this particular text only, all right? Even though it falls into the same class of the other uh, post titles, I only want to apply the change to this specific text, this specific element, I would use an ID. So in this case right now, if I right clicked using my mouse and I said only this element, Right now, I would, let me just come in here and say uh, yes. Now, you would notice that hashtags are now being used right here. So whenever you see the hashtag, just know that that piece of code is most likely for one very specific kind of element. But when you see classes denoted by the dot, then you know that, oh, okay, it's possible that this same uh, properties and values will be applied to other similar elements on your web page. Well, this has been a super crash tutorial on how CSS works, but at least now you know the very basics and it will help you as you begin to use the CSS Hero plugin. Thank you so much and have a good day.